What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video is a follow-on from why you need a website. And in this video, I want to talk about why you need a mailing list and how to build your mailing list. The reason why you need a mailing list is kind of the same as why you need a website. Like I said before, if, if anything happens to these other social media sites that you're building yourself on or you're building your brand on, if anything happens to them, like they shut down or you get kicked off for some reason, then all that that you've built, all them followers, fans, gone. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna start from scratch. So this is why you need a mailing list. If these people are serious about the work that you're doing and you're putting out and they wanna stay in contact with you, then having a mailing list is an ideal way for you to keep those people in your, in your circle. That's why you should build a mailing list. How to build your mailing list is another thing. How I've been building my mailing list is by giving out free beats. On my Facebook fan page, there's a tab there that says free, free beats. Um, they just put their details in and you send the beats out. But you make sure you stay on top of it because I've had a few subscribers and when I checked at the links for the free beats, it was dead. I don't know what happened. It was a Google link, short link. I think Google's short links are dead now. Anyway, so they didn't get their free beats and first impressions, they probably thought, no, this guy's got my, my mailing list, so it's got my email, got my email address and no beats. That's not a good start. So if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna give out something free, make sure you keep updating it or checking your links and that, that they're not dead links. As an artist, how can you build your mailing list? Simple. You can either do a giveaway, I don't know, maybe you've got some merch, I'm gonna give away some merch, drum my mailing list, or you've got a song that you haven't put out yet. You can drop their, drop their email in there and you can send them something that you've been working on or I don't know, just get creative because you're you're a creative being. So you, you're gonna have ideas, you're gonna have loads of ideas. I'm just throwing some out there for you to, to catch some to catch some ideas. Yeah, just be creative with it. Producers you can give out. If you're trying to attract other producers, you could maybe give out beat sending tips, mixing tips, how to grow on Instagram tips, I don't know, maybe how to put out beats, tips, five tips, join my mailing list. And then with, once you've got them into your mailing list, then it's up to you and how you control that list. You can do weekly emails, you can do bi-weekly, monthly, it's up to you, it's entirely up to you. That's how you can build your mailing list. Bear in mind the new rules of the GDPR and all that stuff, that you're doing things properly. You don't want to be going around and scraping emails and then sending people emails that didn't even sign up to your mailing list. Uh, I get loads of them still. Beat makers answer me funny beats. Yeah, it's strange, strange thing. I know it happens, but I think I think it's more important to have a solid, I don't know, solid fan base, solid mailing list, rather than you just scraping in the hope that you might just find a few. But if that's what you want to do, then if that's what you want to do. Uh, I'm not here to, I'm not here to judge you. <laughs> so just do whatever makes you happy. So yeah, that's why you should build a mailing list and how you should build a mailing list for artists and producers. Hit me up on Instagram or drop a comment below and I'll, I'll reply to you. Hope this video has helped. If it has, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.